Hi, I'm Dylan Smart. In this segment, we are going to create a floating multi-deck in a patchwork design. This can be done with some creative calculations and a little manipulation of the rubber pads. As in all construction projects, remember to use the correct personal protective equipment. Protect your hands using all-purpose utility gloves. Always wear safety glasses. This will drastically reduce the risk of hand and eye injury. It all starts with our patented recycled rubber multi-deck base. There are three channels molded into the base, designed to cradle six inch wooden or composite deck boards. To prepare the ground, first measure the layout and shape of the deck by using a hose or string. Then add or remove ground material until you have a flat surface. The multi-deck can be assembled on virtually any type of surface. This includes sand, dirt, pea gravel, crushed rock, or even concrete. We always suggest that you lay down a landscaping fabric to prevent vegetation growth. So to create your 12 by 8 patchwork design multi-deck, it's as simple as building four 8-foot panels and four 4-foot panels. You place your first rubber base flush with the end of the lumber. This is where the little bit of manipulation comes into effect. You want to place the base down like any other, but you want to push it out and measure about an inch from the front of the lumber. Next, like any other base, take your deck screw and attach the base to the wood. Only dimpling the back of the rubber to prevent any sort of tear through. Once you have that base securely fastened, it's time to flip the panel. Once you have flipped the panel, you simply slice down through and then take that little bit of rubber off each one of these dividers. This will leave a nice clean edge. You're essentially building another self-support. Once you have the panels pre-built, lay them down in quadrants. Add your joiner boards to complete each quadrant. When building this type of patchwork design, you're going to notice that there are two spots that are missing support. This could easily be remedied by manipulating a pad and cutting out two sections. As seen here, place these sections where the support was missing. Add your joiner boards. Screw them together, and this will connect both halves of your deck. To finish the deck, you can add a 2x2 two two border around the perimeter. The corners can be done one of two ways. First, you can miter your corners. Next, you can simply use a square set option. To attach the 2x2 two two border to around the deck, you simply use a 3 inch deck screw going through the 2x2 two two and into your deck. With a little imagination and some creative thinking, you can design beautiful quick install decks for your outdoor living space.